Welcome, my name is Benedict from Azapio and I'm here to demonstrate how you can seamlessly send data from an SAP system here on the left hand side to a Solus broker on the right hand side using the Azapio integration add-on in just a few steps. Let's go inside the Azapio configuration which is integrated in the SAP built-in configuration also known as customizing part of the SAP system. I choose the existing connection to Solus, which we have already configured beforehand. This means endpoints and authorizations were set up as this is a one-time job anyway. There are currently a couple of outbound interfaces configured and we will select the sales order interface to show you the actual configuration. Under the event linkage, we can see that the interface listens to a changed and also to a created event of an SAP sales order. Azapio supports here thousands of built-in events, so there are no limitations. In the rare cases where there is no event available, Azapio supports many other triggers like business transaction events or even custom triggers from ABAP coding. The target address is in Solus defined via topics and Solus supports dynamic topics. This means that the target address can contain values from the payload here, in this case, from the sales order, such as the sales organization, the customer's order number, which is under the reference here, and the actual document number. Now let's test the interface by changing a sales order in transaction VA02. I'm opening an existing sales order here. And we see that we have two items inside the sales order. And I will now change the quantity from 12 to 15. And before I press save, please watch the message section here and, and the, in the, inside the Solus window. And now when I press save, the message is created in real time and we see it pop up here on the dynamic topic inside Solus. So here we have the sales order number, which was a dynamic part. And here below that we have to see the JSON file that was sent. We usually get the question how performant real-time messaging can be with SAP systems. From our experience, the load on the SAP system is very low. We have customers who transfer thousands to millions of such events per day. On SAP side, we can now take a look at the Azapio monitor application. I will therefore go to transaction Azadev ACI monitor. I choose my connection to Solus. And here we see all incoming and outgoing messages. And I can resend messages from here directly. I have an SLG1 log available. And if the trace is activated, I can even see that here on SAP side as well. So here on the left side, I see the post with that dynamic parts inside the topic name. On the right side, I see the response from Solus. So here we have a 200 and it's okay. And I see the JSON in its hierarchy. So here we have the header information and also the items are here. And here's the quantity which we changed from 12 to 15. Um, we can rename here the field names with our payload designer. We can rename table names and we can remove leading zeros. To wrap it up, I like to give you a quick example how inbound messaging can be handled by Azapio. In this demo, a message is sent from the broker into the SAP system, which Azapio receives and calls the application process to create a new sales order. When we click on publish here, the inbound message appears in the Azapio monitor. I will do that now. I will create a sales order with that material number and quantity. And here inside the monitor, we see now that we received something and we can jump from the monitor directly to the Azapio IDOC. 
which was here created and the Azap UI doc is one of several ways to handle inbound messages. A custom IDOC process code was executed and the sales order created. Let's click here and jump to the sales order. And here we see that the material number with a quantity of two was created like we wanted it to. This was just a brief example of how Azapu works. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us for further information. And thank you for watching.